Cheers. I'm only plucking pheasants till that pheasant plucker comes. Looking ever so attractive this morning. <laughs> Upside down's my best look. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep all right? Yeah. I just need a cup of tea now to wake up. Oh, oh my God, you brought a pint mug. Yep. Oh, you beauty. <laughs> Back in the Lake District for the Keswick Mountain Festival. Got here last night and the weather was a peach, so we just cracked up with a few beers and relaxed. Got up this morning, it's cloudy. So today we're just going to go for a moot around the festival and see what happens. <laughs> She's alive! She's alive! <laughs> now we're off to see what the festival has to offer. In the rain. Today is Friday and it's now the evening. We've done bugger all filming today because we've been wandering around the... Sorry, we've been mooching around the festival. Weather was grim. So now what we're going to do is Go to the pub tonight. Welcome to our gorgeous. Saturday morning in the lakes. We woke up in the pop top and it felt like we were in a frigging greenhouse. So for the first time in a long time, we had to open the vent at the top to cool down. Bird song this morning was immense. Like a frigging orchestra outside the van at half five. Rough with the smoothie. Eh? Hemingway said, um, if there are no uh, hotels in, in the area, then there are no journalists, and therefore nothing happens. And there are no hotels at 20,000 foot on the line of control, so nothing gets reported. But I assure you, the Indian and the Pakistanis do have border incursions, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorted, the new job sorted, and um, was due to come home to uh, the lakes on December, uh, December the 20th. On the evening of the 19th, we got a, a message in our family WhatsApp group that said, I, I love you all so much. Been to the best fish and chip shop in the world, the old Keswickian. And now we're going to have our dinner before heading back to the festival.
sound of the big money. <laughs> <laughs> Where have we been? To the Mountain Festival. We've been to the Mountain Festival. We watched uh, the Lancashire Hot Pot, which we were very happy about. We even played the Lancashire Hot Pot at our wedding, Chippy Tea. Because we had Chippy Tea as our. Wedding our wedding breakfast. meal. What is it called? Breakfast. I think it's called your wedding breakfast. That's it's the first meal you have after you've been married. Well, that's what we had for our tea at our, bre our wedding. Breakfast. We then watched Stone Roses, uh, Wallabies. He was a bit of a dick on stage, wasn't he? But mm. music was alright. But then the queues for everything the bar, the food, the toilets. It was just horrendous. So we got out of the festival. I went and got myself a nice burrito from Felpack, Felpack Kitchen. And uh, Sarah joined the queue for the chippy and it was too long, so now you're having what? Cheese on toast. <laughs> Cheese on toast and the red monkey. Ooh. I don't know whether you can hear it. Can you hear that? Badness are on at the moment, which is a madness. Uh, to be fact. I've done a pretty poor job of documenting this weekend and sometimes you just have to get on with enjoying your weekend don't you so you might not have seen much of this weekend but trust me it was pretty good mm. <laughs> but next weekend should be a little belter anyway because we go to party wee wee party but, but, <laughs> we're still here tonight anyway so we're gonna switch off for a bit now now Sunday morning and the weather again is grim. I'm a little bit fed up with this weather. There's people just turned up in the pits next to me so I'm going to switch the camera off for a second. We were such lucky with the weather last night. It was cold and windy at the festival but it was sunny. We had the right kit on, we were comfortable. But all last night it rained, this morning it's raining, it's blowing a gale. I feel sorry for the event organisers, they've had a hard time with um, weather over the last few years. Obviously pandemic hasn't allowed them to do it for the last couple of years, but you just got to make the most of it. This video is pretty shocking in my opinion, I haven't even seen what I've got yet. <laughs> the campsite, let's, let's talk about the campsite. The campsite is a perfect location for mooching around Keswick and going to Keswick Festival. It's the Caravan and Camping Derwent Water site. We've stayed on the Keswick site which is next door a number of times which is stunning. It's got great views of, right on the lake, great views of the mountains. This campsite here is a little bit smaller, very very well manicured. Um, but it has got restricted views of the mountains this uh, after having a poo. A wee. A poo. A wee. But yeah, we'll... It's a rainy one. Before we go, we'll just uh, let you give it a quick glimpse of the campsite because <coughs> it's got some great big old safari tents. Looks like it sleeps about 15 million people. We're going to make our first brew now. I have something to eat and then we'll show you the campsite and then we'll bugger off because I've got to go and collect a mountain bike for my nephew. Nearly three grand for a second hand bike. Take it. That's a dog film up, I do want it shit. Sarah likes a toast to be anemic. Mm -hmm. Warmed up bread. With loads of butter. If anyone has any storage tips for a California or a caravan, caravan, caravan camper van in general we've just been discussing that even after years of using this thing we still don't know where anything goes so we now need to make sure in the future we're a bit more prepared so little storage boxes anything like that if you've got any ideas just let us know even if it's another youtube video which you think need we need to watch let us know 